so on it was, um, it really was formed about 10,000 years ago when it emerged from the glacial and ice sheets that were covered by Scotland. And as the world warmed up at the end of the last interglacial period, Orkney emerged from the ice. Uh, and it was cut off from mainland um, Britain quite quickly by the Pentland Firth and before any of the larger carnivorous land mammals could get here. So there was never any bears or wolves here. The earliest people here were Mesolithic people. They were hunter-gatherer farmers. They probably came here by boat. At that time, Orkney was just one island, so we more or less live on the tops of hills now, which will probably explain the topography to you. And a lot of the trees, uh, we were covered in a thick growth of trees, but they never really grew more than about two or three yards high because the wind is ever constant in wind uh, in Orkney uh, and the trees just don't go very tall at all. The earliest people came here on little boats, they were probably only here in the summer, they went elsewhere in winter, probably no more than a couple of hundred of them at any time. Uh, and they were Mesolithic people, and as far as archaeologists are concerned, they are incredibly ephemeral. You get little left of them except a few traces of flints. <coughs> now, something amazing happens about 6,000 years ago, about 4,000 BC, and that is the introduction of farming and agriculture. And this is the period of time called the Neolithic, or the New Stone Age, and it's the time of the earliest farmers. And Orkney is one of the earliest places in the British Isles where people start to farm. It's very early and when people start to farm they become a lot more obvious to archaeologists in what they do with where they live, what they do with their ceremony and ritual and what they do with their dead. As we turn to the left, there's a standing stone called the Barnhouse Stone and beyond it there's a low mound called Maze Howe. Maze Howe and the Barnhouse Stone both have World Territory Site status and Maze Howe is considered to be the finest example If you're very well organised, you can get one of the 50 tickets a day that are sold to go inside Maysail when you come back to Orkney. It's really worth a visit. But the time to see it is really midwinter. It's in midwinter about sunset, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And on a clear day, the sun lights up the inside of Maysail. It's a very precise astronomical um, alignment and it's, it's deliberate.